So if they were to drink, cough in, aspirate, whatever, toxic chemicals, think about, you know, with uh, the ammonia. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to sneak around Think about so the I ammonia. get a better view of this. Sorry, I'm just going to back right there so y'all can see this a little bit better. Because where, where this cut is, is where we're going to see a lot because that air is escaping. We're going to start seeing it. We may have to pull a little bit more in there. Okay. Yeah, that's where we're starting to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Here we go. See right here where it's starting to turn gray? Mm -hmm. All right, that's where that Clorox is getting in there and it's actually breaking down the alveoli in there and it's, and it's causing it to liquefy. Um, it's, yeah. And you see it, and it's gonna just start getting worse and worse is what's gonna happen. So whenever you think of like the ammonia program that we have out here for the beef and stuff, when you breathe that stuff in, but it happens a lot quicker because the amount of ammonia and then how cold it is. Can any of y'all, any of y'all up close, do you see some yeah. air irritation on your eyes? Yeah. That irritation you're feeling in your eyes is because these lungs are let, allowing that air to escape, and now that clor now that that Clorox is starting to evaporate into the air. 60 cc syringe with bleach in it. Bleach is in the sink, please. But you can see this growing more and more. That's the first spot that I can really tell. See how gray it's turning right there? Man, you can really smell that Clorox. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. So it's more so internal right now because of how we got the lungs really filled. That uh, Clorox is working on the inner alveoli more so than it is on these ones on the outer edge. As we put more Clorox in there, we're gonna see it more and more. All right, there you go. See that gray right in there? where the air is escaping because that air is pushing that Clorox through the lungs and it's starting to deteriorate the alveoli and the lung tissue right there. It's a good spot. See, that's all pretty normal there. That one. See that, that line right down the middle? See, look at it. You see it growing more and more as they continue to do the respirations? That Clorox is breaking more and more of that lung tissue down. So are you feeling a difference in how much pressure you've got to use to ventilate? No. Is it getting any tougher or is it staying about the same? No, I think it's just kind of good. Because yeah. as, as those alveoli start breaking you down, Look you're right here. See right there, it's changing color there. And look at them, they're not inflating. See how they're not inflating now? Remember how smooth it was a minute ago? Because everything was uh, inflating like it's supposed to. Look right here now, they're starting to break it down. So it's not even filling up with uh, air all the way. Okay. And if we have to, we can. So don't blow back up on you. And if we have to, we can we open go. up a door if it starts getting too strong. Yeah, we can crack, crack up. Oh yeah. Did you hear it go through there? Yeah. Oh, you see the bubbles? You see the bubble right there? Yeah, now you're starting to get oh, yeah. down in. Here, can you open that slit up a little or the oh, yeah. See how bad it's getting now? Look how brown it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So you can see the coloration is starting to grow more and more as the Clorox is starting to break down that lung tissue. And it'll, go ahead. It's no longer inflating like it was earlier. You can see the wrinkles are kind of staying, it's not as smooth as it used to be. Yeah. Now think of the little kids that trip over the mop bucket and fall in. It's not a super common thing, but it does happen. Yeah, is that right? If that happens, then you guys do. Supportive care as best we can until we get them to the hospital. Yeah, because we try to keep the peep on them like what we're doing now. We try to keep the lungs inflated because we got to do as much as we can to keep air exchange. If we allow those lungs to the lungs to totally deflate, if that Clorox is going to saturate more of the alveolar sacs, it's going to cause more damage. So peep is really crucial for us. That positive pressure is really crucial at is that time. Anything underneath? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Look at there. There you go. See how green and of course what happened there why do we see it more on this side than we do the other it's settled it's settled 
basically gravity, right? So gravity is pulling that fluid. And you think about, you know, grandma, grandpa, whatever, you know, our elderly in nursing homes, the fluid is doing the exact same thing in like your COPD patients. That fluid seats down, gravity is pulling it, and it's affecting the alveoli, it's causing it to be more and more difficult for them to breathe. Because the more that fluid gets around the alveolar sacs, we have zero oxygen exchange, carbon dioxide exchange happening. So will it ever turn back to like pink? No, those are dead now. Those, those will never reinflate because the uh, toxicity of the Clorox has totally broken down those alveolar sacs. So the little kids drink Clorox? Oh yeah, that's bad. bad. Especially, and it's not just so much of them drinking it, because remember that's esophagus, but it's the fumes that they're breathing back down through that is coming up from the esophagus. So they end up coughing on that. Um, you, there's even YouTube uh, video, guys walking through the uh, pneumonia. Uh, what's the other thing out there? The anhydrous pneumonia out in the fields. So they're out there, you know, they're out there fertilizing the fields and stuff. There's a leak. They walk through it. It's almost instantaneous death. You'll hear them take three, three or four breaths and done because those, that ammonia affects these lungs so much quicker than what this Clarks you've seen today. Yeah. And those lungs are just down to nothing, like a little prune getting shriveled up. This is... So you look like you're, you're working pretty hard. Is that, is that getting pretty difficult? <laughs> yeah. So now not only are those the tissues pee. necrotic, and well, they were dead before we got here, but now they're even worse. Now you've taken that surfactant that's that was still present in there that was allowing them to stay open with the peep, even all that has been washed away by the Clorox, and they're collapsing down on themselves and then just quite literally liquefying inside. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Yeah, you tired? Yeah, look at how bad that is. Yeah, it's because that air is coming out more. But the more we do this, the more damage is going to occur. Because that stuff is just, just spreading around. Exchange is going to continue to spread it that much more. Oh, oh you're going to lose your turn. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>